Okay, am I gonna start hooting? Hey guys, welcome back to TechGooch for another video review. And I'm back with a pretty awesome product. I've actually been using this for several weeks now. Um, and this is the OWL car cam security system. It actually is a lot of things in one. Um, rather than just putting a camera in your dash, dash cam and be able to actually see a constant record and if something happens, then you can always go back to that footage to look at it, right? This does that and a whole lot more. Uh, the really neat things about this is that it runs 24 hours a day. It is a security system. However, it's also a dash cam. It's also a way to capture those moments that are, holy cow, did I just see that? Um, this thing is pretty awesome. It actually uses AT&T's 4G network to actually upload video and be able to access it from anywhere. So the neat thing about this is not only can you actually pull footage off of it wireless and remotely, over, L uh, over LTE data connection, you can actually see a live view of where your vehicle is and what's going on, not only in the outside, but on the inside as well, because this thing has cameras in both directions, um, which I understand there's some maybe out there, I don't want something recording me in my car, but that's, if you're only recording what's outside, it's only half the story. And being able to record what's inside as well can be almost just as important, if not sometimes more important. Uh, so this does both those. It's a little bit different because it doesn't just plug into your cigarette lighter and pull juice off your battery. Well, it does, it does actually run off your car battery. It actually plugs into your diagnostic port which is way different than anything I've ever actually seen before, which is pretty awesome. So the neat thing about that is that it can actually monitor your vehicle and know when you're in it, when your car's on, when it's not on. It also can obviously monitor your battery so it doesn't drain the battery. So like I said, this is a 24 hour a day camera. However, if it notices that your battery's running down, it will cease. It will turn itself off to protect your battery so that your car will start for you. So that's something that's really pretty awesome as well about it. Um, there's a lot of really cool things. It does actually have bump protection. So if you go up and you hit your vehicle, which I'm gonna actually show you here in a second, it will actually start automatically trigger and record an event and send you a notification on your phone saying, hey, there's something going on basically, which is awesome. Um, but the, I mean, the neat thing is, is that if you're, if you're parked in a neighborhood that you just don't feel good about, uh, it allows you to, from your phone, be able to check on your phone, your your vehicle at any time. Now this, I put this on my main my main vehicle, which my wife actually drives mostly. So I don't use it as a creeper type thing where I can check in on my wife. Um, I tested that to make sure that it does work, but it's not really, I think, the function of it. You can actually only have this accessible by one smartphone or one phone at a time through the app. You can't have multiple phones, which, is a security aspect to me. I mean, more of a privacy thing more than anything else. You want, don't want to be, have multiple people linked into this so it actually can be viewed on. Uh, setup is also really easy. Um, the uh, vehicles that it actually does work on, you have to have something that has a diagnostic port. So basically anything that's uh, 1996 to current um, will have that diagnostic port, which that's all you need. And as long as your vehicle has that, you can use this. Um, so I'm gonna, we're gonna head up to the vehicle where I have this installed. Uh, in here right now, there's just the added accessories that you get with it. Um, some owl stickers as well, set up stuff, and two other length of adapters to fit on your vehicle. Some zip ties. Um, uh, this guy here, which I can't remember what that was for. Um, and then another, uh, suction cup. There's various ways you can mount this. It gives you some uh, options, uh, but you'll see how it's mounted in my vehicle. And then actually running the cable was a lot easier than I thought it would be because you're not running up through the dash because it plugs on the outside. You can just run it up along the side and, and good to go. So um, we're going to actually head up. I'm going to show you how I have it mounted and uh, we'll go from there. It was a tuck tool. It's a tuck tool. I actually didn't use this when I did it on my vehicle, um, but that's what this is. That's why I didn't spring out at me. So this is what the owl cam looks like in security mode. So when it's actually in a parking lot or wherever it happens to be and there's, you know, you have the vehicle uh, sitting there for a long period of time, whether you lock the doors or not, if it knows the vehicle is in rest, 
it will eventually go on security mode, which you'll see that flashing green light, if you don't see it, um, uh, which just basically tells people, hey, I'm watching, and this is a security system. So uh, I do like that. Um, that's kind of one of the nice things. So you're at the office, or you're at the store, or whatever, and you have um, somebody that actually hits your car, or something like that. So what does it look like? Well, in the event that you have an impact that's detected by OwlCam, uh, I'll show you exactly what happens. Basically, I'm just going to shake the vehicle real quick, so like an impact happens, and it starts recording video. Now, if it's dark enough, there'll actually be some pretty bright lights, one on each side of the actual OwlCam. I'll show you those here in a second, actually. Okay, so I apologize for any bumpiness here, but we are in the car, uh, and you can see the camera here. So as the standard settings are set up, we have the top, which actually has the outside camera, and the bottom that has the inside camera. Now, it's actually not the whole view, it's just a snippet of it, so you can kind of see what's pointed in the direction. If I swipe down here, I can actually see the in full outside camera, uh, but I can't do that for the indoor. Um, I can't really swipe up, and I can't just see the inside view. Of course, you're inside anyway, so it's not that big of a deal, but... Uh, you can actually see that live full view on your smartphone though. That's something that you can do, well, which is nice obviously. Uh, but you can see my little part of me there. Um, now if I tap on the screen, it'll bring up some menu options. Uh, brightness, volume, inside car, cam audio. If you want to be able to you know, turn off, uh, record audio altogether, you can do that there. Which obviously if you have a privacy concern, you don't want to ha have anybody ever be able to hear what you said in the car. You can turn that off. Uh, display if you want to turn off the display you can actually do that there and if I do that I'll show you now you're not gonna see anything it's just a black screen and if you don't want to be able to get dis uh, distracted at all from what's going on you can do that same with tap to create clip um, you can actually just tap and it'll create a clip if so if you whatever it was recording and you, you saw something that was interesting you can just tap the screen rather than saying there is a keyword that you can do instead <laughs> it's actually uh, when you do that tap to create a clip it listens to what you say and actually calls the clip that name so that's kind of funny because I'm just talking uh, the same thing says uh, you can do by a wake word or a keyword just by saying okay presto creating a clip and so this time I called it creating a clip so as soon as you say the, with the wake word, you call it what you want it to call it, and then that's that. Um, the camera is on the right-hand side. Those little uh, LEDs there, those are the lights that I was talking about earlier about when the with the, the shaking of the car and stuff like that. Um, but uh, it wasn't dark enough in my garage to actually make that go on. But however, if it's really dark and, and something activates, those little guys are bright. Uh, and so my wife, who goes to work really early in the morning, uh, if she if it's in security mode, she you know by sitting it there all night, it will go on in security mode automatically. And when she goes to work, those lights can kind of will come on every time and kind of blind her. Now she'll put the key in the ignition, start it up, and they'll turn off, knowing that hey, nope, this is the actual person, so we're good to go. Uh, but it's pretty cool in how it operates. It mounts very well, uh, and we're gonna actually go and I'm gonna show you how I have it mounted here with its mount. Um, here in just a moment let me get off the road and then we'll do that okay so on the dash here the actual arm where I had the uh, multiple sizes uh, downstairs that's the little, little piece right here but it basically acts as a wedge um, so you can kind of see how it's wedged just basically wedges down below and then suctions cups to this to the windshield uh, the camera itself is actually just on a magnetic ball uh, that attaches there and then you uh, align it and just leave it go. So uh, um, right now you can obviously see that it's still pulling vehicle power. It always does. It always has power available to it. And then I have the wire basically run along the dash here. You don't see it, um, but it was really actually easy to install. Uh, I just removed this panel here. This panel right here just kind of pulls out. And then it's just run down here and then plugs in right down here to the diagnostic port. That's as simple as it is. It's actually uh, magnetic, magnetically attached to this adapter that they they ship you as well. Uh, and it can come out either direction. So depending on how you need to route it, you can easily do that. Um, but yeah, it's uh, pretty simple in how it actually mounts. Now, as you can see, I have both the Owl Cam and my uh, Go Luck 
uh, dash cam still mounted on my windshield there and I did that for a couple reasons one I wanted to see the quality difference between the two and I think it's actually pretty substantial to be honest um, I do like the quality of the video that comes out of my go look but the owl cam is absolutely superior in multiple ways so they did a really good job with this it does a fantastic job you can easily decipher license plate numbers and everything off of it where most I should say a lot of uh, um, dash cams the quality of the video isn't good enough and the reflect the reflecting service off of a, a license plate tends to mess with those um, and I'll kind of show you that here in a moment as well but I'll show you some uh, some raw footage from the actual camera itself uh, probably here in just a moment so for setup of this you download the owl app uh, you basically when you turn this on for the first time a QR code will actually arise and within the app you know, sign, scan the QR code that links into your phone Within the app itself, uh, if you connect it via Wi-Fi, you can actually uh, see live views, um, you can see history views, and everything. As long as you're connected directly to the camera and you're in the vicinity of the camera, you can actually pull all this footage off at all times. The history is, anytime that you were driving, there was motion detected and things were actually going on, it's going to have a recording and you'll actually be able to see that. You can actually scrub through that, so like in the history of the outside versus inside let's just go to the outside here real quick and I'll, I'll kind of show you here as well as I go um, as long as you're connected to Wi-Fi you can actually scrub through that video and actually look at the history and kind of go through it back and forth and see where you've been where it actually has recordings where it doesn't have recordings because it was just sitting there and nothing was happening so why save a video that doesn't need to be saved and the same thing goes for the inside you can go to the inside view and see the exact same thing now for this specific instance outside inside history viewing the backlog of video you're gonna get uh, 24 hours I think of actual footage on there it's gonna keep that last full day so anything that happens you're gonna to want to make sure by the end of the day that you're going back in and saving those things anytime you see something that you really do want to capture and you definitely want to save you just use those at that okay presto word or you tap the screen and it's gonna save it and that's not gonna go away uh, because those are gonna be at, rather than in the camera footage that's going to be under clips and the clips are going to be all those clips that you've seen uh, anytime that well, in, the, in this video alone I took I took a few of them they'll actually be labeled the label that you told it to be labeled uh, and then you can actually look at that history as well and you can ten, actually take those uh, so in this case let's say one of these um, you can actually look at that you can actually break then scrub that video down more if you'd like and then there is a share button that you can then share to YouTube Twitter messages email it uh, stream to owl or save directly to your phone into the well in my case the apple the photos app um, so it's going to give you full management of that video directly through the app itself now one other thing is like i was saying before within the camera section here you can see live view and live view is seeing what's going on right now so uh you know i can click on the outside button here and it's going to actually show me a live video feed of the outside of the of the vehicle same thing goes with the inside i can actually see a live video feed of the inside of the vehicle and that's pretty awesome because if i'm out and i just, I just want to check on my car i want to make myself feel a little more comfortable i parked it in a kind of a sketchy parking lot or i'm in a large city and i just want to, i just want to check on it this is a great way to have access and see what's going on now of course when you park the vehicle maybe it's a smart thing to just double check the actual connectivity of the actual camera it'll tell you how many bars of connection it actually has on the camera and from there you can say you know if, if I'm trying to find a live video feed and it's not connecting there's a reason why um, so either it lost power it's no longer in the area that it should be in or maybe your phone doesn't have connection so I've actually found that that live video feed works every time. I haven't had a problem with it at all. It works really well. Crisp video um, for a cellular connection. It's not going to be HD. Don't expect that. But it looks actually pretty good for being a low resolution. Just check on your stuff. Um, so that's pretty awesome. There's a lot of really cool things that they did with this camera. And that is obviously, to be honest, one of the, the neatest things that they, they, did, they created. So going into comparison mode, comparing the Owl Cam to, well, in this this video here is going to compare to my Go Look camera, one of my Go Look cameras. And I'm, like I said before, I'm not going to bash on Go Look because I, I like the I like the dash cam. It's a good dash cam, especially for the money. But if you can look at the footage here, and what I'm trying to do is side by side, kind of, uh, the quality of the footage is a lot better on Owl. Now, 
that said, the audio quality also tends to be a little better on the Owl Cam as well. Not that that really means a whole lot. And I'm not trying to do a whole lot of audio here, so this is mainly just going to be video stuff. But if we zoom in and actually take a peek at side-by-side -side comparison of what a license plate looks like. Now, this is just some random dude on the highway, so this means nothing. This guy didn't do anything wrong. I'm not trying to point anything out. We're just looking at a, at a license plate at the same time shot with two different cameras on autonomous mode. I didn't tell it to take a video. It just made the video, and I went back and grabbed it. Uh, and this is unedited. This is just right out of the actual thing itself, zooming in. The Owl Cam, you can definitely see the license plate substantially better. So, is this camera better? In about every way than my dash cams, at least. Uh, it does cost more, and it has a lot more features. So, yeah, take it with, that, with however you want to take it. So that's Owl Cam. And to be honest, it has changed a few times in updates since I got it to start testing to review. This is now available. You can go out to their website, and uh, I will post those links below, and you can purchase this. It's uh, $349 for the startup kit, and essentially it's available now. And I've had it for the last couple months now, and it's a fantastic product. It really is. And by the way, that $349 price includes LTE service for one full year on it. Um, it also has a one-year warranty, including theft. If somebody was to steal it, they actually cover you. It comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you try it and you don't like it, and I'm, you find that I'm full of BS, send it on back to get your money back. They also do offer financing through their website with a firm. So it makes it a little more affordable if you can't just basically dish out 350 bucks. They do offer military discounts and first responder discounts. Pretty awesome, so definitely check them out. Uh, I was trying to think of different ways I could actually do this video and hopefully what I showed you is something that's usable. Um, but to be honest about it, is, is frank for it, as straightforward as possible, yes, Owl sent this to me to show you guys. They did, and I really appreciate that. But all of my videos, I try to give an unbiased review of that if I didn't get it for free or I didn't have it borrowed to me and I paid $349 for this, is this worth it? And that's going to depend on you and that's going to depend on your priorities. But if I look at this and I compare it to my other dash cams that I've used in the past, other dash cams that my friends and my family have, as well as the capability of checking on my vehicle and that ease of mind that you get by just knowing that everything is okay. Um, uh, I can honestly think of a, a time last year that I could not get a hold of my wife. I was trying desperately to get a hold of her because we she was supposed to be home. It was like almost an hour and a half, two hours later, and she still wasn't home. Trying to get her cell phone, trying to ping the cell phone via GPS because with Apple devices, you can see where the elder Apple device if you allow that. And we do in our family just for emergency stuff. I couldn't find her. Her friends, she w couldn't find, didn't know where she was. No idea where she was. This is something that I could actually have checked on it. So this is something that's great for when my teenager comes, you know, my, my 11 year old right now, when she gets old enough to start driving, obviously technology is going to be a little bit different, I think in five years, but when she does and she has her own vehicle, this is something that I would want in her car because it's impact detection. It tells me, it'll actually give me an alert on my phone. Hey, something's going on here and I can actually, well, I can try to get a hold of her. I could, I could, I could feel a little more ease at mind knowing exactly what's happening. Um, I'm not a spy. So even if I put this in my daughter's car, it, you know, obviously right now it's in my wife's car, even though it's in my wife's car, I'm really not checking on her very frequently. But if I get an alert, it's something that, Hey, what's going on? Um, same thing goes with uh, vacation stuff like that. This is our main family vehicle. So this is a great thing to go back on to always check. It's really quick and easy to make a sit and save a clip. So Owl, you created an awesome product and I can't wait to see what you're going to do with it. I really can't. And for all of you teenage or parents out there of teenagers, this is something to highly consider because $350 invested is going to make you feel really good if something ever was to happen that you had this. And also really good that if you cannot get a hold of your your son, your daughter, your wife, your husband, it doesn't matter what, this is something that you can actually pop up and actually talk to them with. It does have two-way communication. So you can actually, if you have audio turned on, I can actually pull up a live feed of the inside of my Jeep right now 
and I can have it, have a communication and actually talk with the person that's in my Jeep if somebody was in there. I could do that. And that's saying something because in my case, it was nothing big. My wife's phone, her battery died. So of course it had no idea where she was and she couldn't call me and she didn't realize it. And uh, the charger or whatever wasn't working. So it was stupid. But this would have been would have saved a lot of headache because, uh, to be honest, right when I actually jumped in my vehicle and as I was pulling out of my driveway, that's when she came around the corner. Actually, no, she called me finally when she finally was able to, to charge her phone up. Those are things that this could actually, this is a product that actually could mitigate that. And it's it solves the problems that it could create, you know, that, that has been created by other things. But um, OwlCam, pretty awesome. Highly recommended. Definitely check it out. Like I said, you can actually order directly through their website right now. With that said, guys, hopefully this video was less biased than anybody else's. I, like I said, I try not to look at it from the, ooh, I got to make this look good. No, it did it by itself. This thing's pretty awesome. I don't think anybody would, would second guess that. If you ever got it in your vehicle, you'll be impressed by it, by all means. And the great thing is they give you those various options to raise or lower the camera with those those various uh, feet. I have the lowest one because my my uh, um, windshield is almost vertical. But if you had a car that the windshield is more slanted, that's what these do. They basically just raise the camera up a little bit more, get a better angle, and still jam it way down in between the, the dash and the actual windscreen. And so that's what those are for that I showed you earlier. And then if you need to actually... Um, adjusted these, I call them zip ties, but they're actually bendy ties uh, for cable management, you can use these. So they give you a lot of stuff. Pretty, it, it, everything about it is, is fantastic. I have nothing but great things to say about it. The uh, I would say the only downside um, that my wife has told me is one that I haven't, I haven't only witnessed myself once, but if in the, in the event that it's really dark in the room and it's in security mode and you open the door, the camera goes into security mode, those little lights will flash and they are really bright. They don't, I mean, they turn on, they don't like strobe you, but they turn on, they're really bright and it's like getting hit in the face with really bright light. But as soon as you turn the vehicle over, they'll turn off and then you're good to go. So that was actually the first time that I had it installed and the next morning my wife's like, what the heck? But since then we, it's, it's not an issue because we, we know what we're getting into now. So uh, that's it guys. Thanks for watching the video. Please comment below, subscribe to the channel, share this video, get it out there. Uh, if nothing else, share it on Facebook, share it everywhere so people will actually find this and actually, uh, you know, especially for people that are actually looking for something like this, this is awesome. It really is. So thanks for OwlCam for sending this over to me. Um, if you have any questions, again, post those below and we'll see you right here for a future video. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Oh, 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 oh,